Mm. So good. Mm. So creamy. Okay, so here we have some bananas. And then we add some milk, some liquid. You can add, oh, we're moving fast. That's some protein. Um, and then that's some powdered peanut butter for some extra protein minus the fat and the calories. Oh, but then we're going to add some more fat and calories with the chia seeds and then cinnamon, lots of cinnamon. Mmm, yummy cinnamon. And then, oh, we blended too early, we forgot the yogurt. So now we're going to add the yogurt. That's Greek yogurt for some extra protein and now it's gone. And now it's blending. Look at that consistency and it's all gone. It was so yummy, yummy. Mm -mm. Okay, so narrating that was absolute madness, um, which is why now call this the Choco Loco. Loco means crazy in Spanish if you didn't know. Fun fact. But I was editing the video and I was like, this is garbage. So I need to kind of sit down and, and give you guys a little brief lowdown of some of the ingredients in here. It's so tasty. You can't go wrong with peanut butter, chocolate, and bananas. They just mix perfectly. It's like PB and J, but without the J and with the banana and the chocolate. It's so good. First and foremost, bananas are awesome for potassium. They cut the flavor in anything. They're really great for green smoothies too because of that, because they can overpower some of the flavors that you might not like from green vegetables. When you blend it all together, it's so yummy. Because it's a post-workout smoothie, I want it to be high in protein. And the protein comes from so many different things. It comes from the Greek yogurt that I use. It comes from the protein powder, obviously. It comes from the chia seeds. It comes from also that peanut butter, that powdered peanut butter. Um, product that I use and why I love that is because it gives the peanut butter flavor and it adds some of the nutrients as well like protein that comes with peanuts but it's kind of like half the fat content and half the calorie content and I'm not opposed to fat and calories at all in fact I need healthy fats and, and, and high amounts of calories because I train so hard but because this is a smoothie that I have right after workout right before I eat lunch I prefer to kind of save some of those calories and some of those healthy fats for my actual meal um, where I'll have a healthy dose of carbs and protein and healthy fats and I would prefer to have my healthy fats in the form of an avocado than in a smoothie um, and chia seeds are really the superfood of this of this smoothie and they kind of bring it all together they are super high in omega-3s they're also a great source of protein um, what else are they good for oh you know they're rich in fiber and why I choose coconut milk is, I freaking love coconut, love coconut. And the protein powder that I use in this uh, is whey, but I'm trying to move away from whey products into more vegan because vegan are a little bit more gut friendly and a little bit easier to digest. Um, total personal preference, I loved whey for so long, but you know, I kind of want something that's a little bit softer on the tummy. So that's why I'm kind of looking for a new protein. If you have any recommendations or suggestions, please let me know. I hope that kind of clarifies things. Um, it's so good. Mm. Mm. 